All right, so we're back on Loyalty TV Studios, and today what we are coming to talk about has to do with Mubopo again, and a failed member of parliament aspirant for the NDC. Yes, it's here on Ose. Or did I say I'm a quack or dying and Mubopo trial because that is where she will get her justice. And when Janet, eh, eh, a shown no one said, and I'm making now you build one seven more now. Yeah, the eh, details of me in the and to subscribe to this channel. Like and share, send a bear, yeah, the SM ever pro. And it's loyalty TV studios. Answer and able the same way. You could see a message from this air man of God. Numinufu, where you're Bema, when you were Yirish, our partner, she are a young Numinufu, a Yamin Shira, Wunum Nufua, a psycho mind, a Mawakuma Mudaho, a Yiboni through with him, when Numun so take Umpemuna, Bema Bia, Wunibia, Wamuna. Biano or your bema or no moon for or no moon for until I debby abu no moon. As I saw yak, my idea of a heart. Not to send or suffer no air canoe, no for the air, and not to bear my oar, a yano and no for, send a bear more to me at Jay, and not to your story, no man. I say, I will go to the book for my money. Failed NBC aspirant threatens chairman, and not to story in here. Parliamentary aspirant of the opposition NBC. In the Enya Swatum constituency, Janet Ketrana Ashon is reportedly taking steps to seek justice from Nugopo following her defeat in the party's primaries. According to a report filed by Anchor newspaper, Janet's alleged fraud and deception as a reason for seeking justice from the Nugopo shrine in the Volta region. The report explained that Janet Ketra was alleged to have been manipulated into paying substantial sums of money to secure her victory in the primaries. She claimed that the constituency chairman, Kwesi Ahen, as well as other coordinators within the NDC caucus, demanded various payments to supposedly ensure she wins the slot. And that, in addition, on the day of the primaries, she allegedly handed over an amount of 20,000 Ghana cities to the chairman for different reasons. Now, you better a story with me. Now, my main car, what's a gun? Now, we're doing some more parliament. I could be papa, because I always say, Why do I have to pay money to come and serve? And that is the reason why, when I was in the secondary school, I had plans of joining the army. But then I said, Why do I have to pay money? To serve my country, it is not worth it, and that is why I didn't go. Now, this woman who claims she is coming to serve the people, said the party chairman in Enya constituency, so to him, Kwesi Ahen, told her that the Ekwayo Nam so be to me and winning slots, and I said, I just want to his a delegate. Good message thrown to the dogs. And no, any assembly, but now she's here now. We go to your scan and when we know, or say or the call group on a yes, I you and seven of you. Janet is also reported to have revealed that she trusted the chairman's assurance of honesty and believed that he will fulfill his promises by ensuring her victory in the election. However, despite her financial commitment, she did not emerge as the winner as pledged by the chairman instead. One Imando Adote Alote claimed the victory and represents the NDC in the 2024 parliamentary elections. So, this is the quote Ah, Nature said, Yadi Air Panel. After the election, he, that's the chairman, called my driver to come for my money. And I told the driver not to, but I will go to Lugopo for my money. And I'm ready for this thing. Nothing is going to change my mind. And I won't forgive him. I gave the money to the chairman, and the chairman said, Go and give this money to co coordinator and an orca. The report also added that another unsuccessful candidate, Amadou Babanjida, she said, <clears throat> Chairman Kwesiahe, Chairman Kwesiahe, put the man of fancy. He said, who can put the white young co for sicker? Now, who will now say, after collecting the money for uh, that money, hours before the election, 
My constituency chairman called me around 2 a.m. Ketra, hmm. I am seeing the election to be an open election. I asked him how. Are you the EC? Are you the one going to vote? You have only one vote. So how did you know that everybody can win? She added, not knowing our constituency chairman had gone for an air-conditioned car with money from one aspirant. So he was personally going around telling the coordinators to channel their votes to their aspirant. So they asked him, can't you see the way Ketra is working? Ketura, this girl can help us. Let's go for it. No, vote for Babangida. My God being so good, at the end, he thought Babangida was going to win, but he didn't win, and so another person won. So there is the story. The chairman allegedly took money from Na Ashon, but took another, which might be more, from Babangida and campaigned for Babangida to win at 2 a.m., a day before the election. That's the morning before the election. And God being so good, Babangida did not win. And the person who won in Enya A.S. Room is called Imando Adote Alote. So this is the story that the NDC parliamentary failed parliamentary aspirant in Enya Sotum, Janet Katura Na Ashon, says she is going to Ngupu because that is where she will get her justice. Let me know what you think about this story. My name is Joel Eshen, and we'll definitely meet again on this platform. I'm out.